Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. First, it was just about adoptions. Then it was a promise of dirt on Clinton, but it came to nothing. Then President Donald Trump didn't draft his son's initial statement. Then he did. Then it was irrelevant. And now Trump admits the meeting was to get information on an opponent. If there's one thing that's been consistent about the White House's explanation of the June 9, 2016 meeting at Trump Tower, it's inconsistency. Here's a look at how the story has evolved, June 9, 2016, Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and Paul Manafort attend a meeting at Trump Tower with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselitskaya and others. July 8, 2017, Trump Jr., we primarily discussed a program about the adoption of Russian children. The New York Times reports on the June 9 meeting, prompting Trump Jr. to issue this statement, it was a short introductory meeting. I asked Jared and Paul to stop by. We primarily discussed a program about the adoption of Russian children that was active and popular with American families years ago and was since ended by the Russian government, but it was not a campaign issue at the time and there was no follow-up. I was asked to attend the meeting by an acquaintance, but was not told the name of the person I would be meeting with beforehand. July 9, 2017, Trump Jr., no details or supporting information was provided or even offered. After the New York Times reports that Trump Jr. was promised damaging information about Clinton in the meeting, he issued a new statement, after pleasantries were exchanged. The woman stated that she had information that individuals connected to Russia were funding the Democratic National Committee and supporting Ms. Clinton. Her statements were vague, ambiguous, and made no sense. No details or supporting information was provided or even offered. It quickly became clear that she had no meaningful information. She then changed subjects and began discussing the adoption of Russian children and mentioned the Magnitsky Act. It became clear to me that this was the true agenda all along and that the claims of potentially helpful information were a pretext for the meeting. July 11, 2017, Trump Jr., the information they suggested they had about Hillary Clinton I thought was political opposition research. The New York Times publishes emails exchanged between Rob Goldstone and Trump Jr., revealing that Goldstone said that the meeting would yield official documents and information that would incriminate Hillary and that Trump Jr. responded to that email by saying if it's what you say I love it. In a Twitter statement preempting publication of the story, Trump Jr. wrote, the information they suggested they had about Hillary Clinton I thought was political opposition research. I first wanted to just have a phone call but when that didn't work out, they said the woman would be in New York and asked if I would meet. I decided to take the meeting. The woman, as she has said publicly, was not a government official. And, as we have said, she had no information to provide and wanted to talk about adoption policy and the Magnitsky Act. 